Hello Panthers. Today we are going to learn about a box and whiskers plot. Um, a box and whiskers plot looks like this. You will have two whiskers and then your box in the middle. That's why it's called box and whiskers. Um, one of the whiskers is the minimum number. That is the smallest number. Okay, then you will have the other whisker on the other side as the maximum, which is the largest number. And those are the two, oops, sorry. Those are the two whiskers, but in the middle, you will have what the box is made of, which is the median, and you have learned that. That's the middle. And this is the median of all data. Okay, so I want to say median of all data. I know, I wish we all had our notes. We could be doing this together. Um, but the median of all data is where this middle line comes from. Then the box is created by the upper quartile and the lower quartile. And the upper quartile is the median of the upper half. and I'll show you when we create one. And the lower quartile is the median of the lower half. I know it looks really confusing. But I wanted you to visually see what a box and whiskers plot looks like before we create one. So they often will call this five number summary They'll say, what are the five numbers in a box and whisker plot? And you would say, oh, well, hey, there's this one, the minimum. There's the maximum. We have the median, which is in the middle. And then we have the lower quartile and upper quartile. That would be a five number summary. Um, let's look at how you would create a box and whiskers plot. All right, so we're going to create this. This is the ages of employees at a roller rink. And one is 24 years old, the other is 22, and so on and so forth. What we're going to do first is we're going to place that data in order from least to greatest. Remember, if we want to find the middle, we have to put that data in order first. Then we can cross off a low and a high, a low and a high. So I'm gonna place this data in order and I'm looking for the smallest number is 16. The next would be 17. And looking for, oh, 18. 18 year old. And the next would be 22. Oh, there's two 22s. And the next smallest number would be 24, 25, 29, 30. Oh, it's not all gonna fit. 30, 33, 38 and 41. So the first step I did was place the data in order from least to greatest. My next step would be to find the median. To find the median, if you remember, you cross off the lower and the higher until we get to the middle. So I'm gonna say here's a low, here's a high. Here's a low, here's a high. Low high, low, high, low, high. And do you remember what we do when we are left with two numbers in the middle? We add those up and divide by two. So I would say, what is in the middle of 24 and 25? Well, if I added them and divided by two, I would find that the median is 24.5. So 
Second step is done. Third step is find the median of the lower half. Here's what I mean by that. I now know that I can divide this data up right here. This is the middle. This is the low, this is the high. I can divide the data up into two different um, groups. Now I'm going to find the median of this lower group. So I'm gonna say, okay, so forget these even are there. We don't even worry about those. We're gonna look at just these values and I'm gonna say, okay, we're gonna do it over again, finding the median. So here's a low, here's a high. Here's a low, here's a high. And I'm left with two numbers, 18 and 22. So I'm gonna add those two numbers together, 18 plus 22. Then I'm gonna divide by two. That's what we do if we have two values in the middle when we're finding the median. When I divide those in two, I'm gonna find that the lower quartile is actually 20. 20 is the number that's in between 18 and 22. Now I'm going to do the same with the upper half. I'm going to find the median of the upper half. So I've got 25 to 41. I'm gonna say a low and a high, a low and a high, and I'm left with 30 and 33. So my middle of the upper quartile is between 30 and 33. So when I add those up, 30 plus 33, and divide by two, I find that the upper quartile would equal 31.5. Great, I'm getting really close to creating this box and whiskers. The last two things are super easy because that's where whiskers come from. I just need to find the maximum, the biggest number, and the minimum, the smallest number. So I know my maximum is 41, and my minimum, my smallest number, was 16. So I took the largest and the smallest, maximum and the minimum. Now I have five data points that I can use to create my box and whiskers. When you do that, you start out with the median and I'm gonna say the median is 24.5. So I already created a number line here and I'm going to put the median as 24.5. So that's pretty close to 25. So I'm gonna put that line right here and you're just creating a line, not a dot, a line. Then I'm gonna say, okay, on both sides of my box, I use my lower quartile and my upper quartile. My lower quartile is 20. So I'm gonna put that there. My upper quartile is 31.5, which is a little more than 30. So I can now, with that, those data points, create the box. Now I'm looking for my whiskers. My whiskers are the maximum and the minimum. So I'm gonna find the maximum is 41, which is over here. And my minimum is 16, which is a little more than 15. So the, that, those two values would create the whiskers for my box and whiskers plot. Guys, I know you're gonna have some struggles with this. This is one of the toughest lessons when I'm there teaching. And I go around and I have some worksheets that we use and I you know, kind of do some one-on-one -on -one teaching. So if you need me at all, please just give me a call, give me an email, anything. I will help you out with this. But I'm so glad that you guys are continuing with your education. Hey, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.